Hello everyone, welcome to this special video about the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition which has been released today. Yes, today you can be the owner of the Special Edition of Skyrim. And why I did want to create this video is because I can understand there has been, there are a lot of questions how the Special Edition works with modding and how it actually works with your original installation of Skyrim. Because um, you might think, will it replace my original Skyrim? Will it replace my original files? Will my mods work? All those kinds of questions. And I can tell you that the special edition will be treated by Steam as a completely different game. So when you install it, you need to uh, install it again as a new game. Because it's not going to override anything of the original Skyrim. Which is good news, I think, because it means you can still play your original modded Skyrim and you don't need to do any special things and also um, you need to treat it differently for now because you cannot use mod organizer with skyrim special edition and you um you can actually mod it let me show you there is a new page on nexus mods the skyrim special edition which is also being handled as a new game as you can see here and um yeah there are some familiar mods here already like alternate start and the unofficial patch and I have to say, I've played the um, special edition today and yeah, I have to say the same old familiar bugs are still in there. Like, come on Bethesda, what, are, what did you do? Only added some fancy new effects, which everyone who did mod the game already has. But you still haven't fixed the bugs? Come on man, how can you still do not do that after five years? But anyway, um, the thing is, you cannot use mod organizer like I said. And um, Mod Organizer version 2, which has been created as far as I know for Fallout 4, because it was also a 64 bit application, is still in beta. And to be honest, I'm not really sure if it works with the Enhanced Edition. Um, when I checked it up, it seems it did not. And um, you need to use Nexus Mod Manager to install mods for now. And um, that's because the next, the new version of Nexus Mod Manager is compatible with Skyrim Special Edition, and you can un install these mods from the Skyrim Special Edition page. And the people who made the mods for the original Skyrim need to convert them to the new files, uh, the new file system, as far as there is a new file system for the Skyrim Special Edition. So you need to be patient and especially patient for SKSE, the Skyrim script extender, which an example SkyUI needs. And that's really bad because if you want to play Skyrim Special Edition, you don't have SkyUI yet because SKSE is not available. And of course, also the other mods which require SKSE will not work with the Special Edition yet. However, the team of SKSE have confirmed that they are currently busy creating a new version for the Skyrim Special Edition. So to be clear, you can download the Skyrim Special Edition if you do have the Legendary Edition already of Skyrim, then you can download it for free, you can install it for free. It's already popping up in your library like I have. I installed it today, played a little bit with it and um, went to Riverwood, which is some footage I'm going to show you guys in a couple of uh, minutes from here. And um, yeah, so again, Mod Organizer is not available for the Special Edition yet. And yes, the Special Edition is being treated as a completely different game, which is really good news. I was really glad when I uh, read that. And um, yes, you can mod it, but in that case, you need to have Nexus Mod Manager. And I don't think that's really a problem for now because there are not that many mods. Let's see if we check the top files. There's probably... Um, are there more than 25 files? Oh, there actually are. Okay, so some people are already working on it. Uh, I think before the release of the special edition already. And as you can see here, realistic lightning overall also has been converted, which is good because I really like the enhanced edition, but the lightning still was absent from lens license effects or realistic lightning overall. So I think it's a good thing that those lighting mods are back here again. Also, I am going to make a comparison video this weekend with my 400 plus mods edition compared with this Skyrim special edition. And um, yeah, um, I hope to show you guys the differences between my modded version and um, the special edition. But for now, before we have this comparison video, I played a little bit in River Woods, the part which you have uh, at the beginning of the game. So you have a little bit of an idea uh, how it looks. I did record this uh, just a couple of uh, hours ago 
and uh, you're going to watch that now and I hope you guys um, are being informed now a little bit better on how modding works with Skyrim Special Edition and I hope to see you guys at the comparison video um, uh, which is going to be released this weekend I hope don't pin me on it and thank you very much for watching and enjoy the footage of Skyrim Special Edition Welcome to Skyrim Enhanced Edition. We jumped here in the beginning of the game. I did the intro sequence with Helgen and uh, a problem I have with the vanilla Skyrim was that when I played on a 144Hz monitor the card would bounce all the way up and down and that seems to not have happened so we're good to go and I'll show you a little bit around here. Um, what is definitely most viewable is here the God Rays. You do have God Rays the same way you are pretty much used to them when using EMBs and all and um, yeah they look very nice and the thing I uh, noticed a lot and it is pretty cloudy here and unfortunately I can't really force the weather oh now it's actually fog like let's see if I can force the weather one moment let me put the console back on let's see if I can force weather like this now it's oblivion weather unfortunately um, so yeah um, let me see because I want to show you guys the uh, the god rays a little bit um, and let's see if maybe I can load my other safe and uh, also as you can see here by the way there was a perfect example as you can see how fast the transitions are with loading and um, like an example if I go to the store here normally the loading screens with my 400 plus mods editions are quite long but I can instantly go enter and exit buildings I am in this world again and um, yeah that's really nice also the overall texture quality has been a lot better but as you can see here especially the god rays they are here definitely they look really nice and the thing that that I noticed the, uh, instantly was that how well the um, distant landscape and actually the entire landscape is blend in in this vanilla let's call it just a vanilla version of Skyrim it is the remastered version of course but uh, as you can see all the way in the distance um, the landscape just looks so natural with the world and that's a problem I have with my 400 plus modded Skyrim is that um, it, it looks okay uh, when using Dindal lot. then the lot looks really nice but it looks still a little bit unnatural at some places and when with, with this enhanced edition as you can see everything looks nice there is no pop-up um, I haven't seen any pop-up and uh, the landscape and the nature it's done very well and that's really something different than the uh, modded version as you can see here the mountains they look really nice in the distance they really have that uh, feeling of high mountains and not just uh, not just computer generated uh, mountains which you have at least I have the feeling uh, with that with insult din a lot I mean it looks good you can see all the way but it's still not this feeling with the original Enhanced edition in this case of Skyrim where everything in the distance looks really nice So what has been changed? Um, we of course have anti-aliasing effects new ones um, Also depth of field effect is here which means if I look up close here you can see on my left side that the uh, That the depth of focus is only focusing us on the main object But you can also see by the way that the close-up textures do not really look that great compared with my 400 plus mods edition and by the way, I will create a comparison video with my uh, 400 plus mods edition and this Skyrim Enhanced Edition. But I thought it was a good idea for you guys just to show you a little bit how it looks. And um, yeah, let's see, we can walk a little bit to White Run. Not really sure if I can fast travel, I don't think so, but let's try it anyway. Can I fast travel to White Run? No, I can't. That's fine. Um, but yeah, let me walk you guys a little bit further into the nature so you can see how it looks. And um, yeah, I, I am pretty impressed actually, even when this is just a vanilla version and um, everything looks so natural well. And as you can see in the distance, uh, it, it blends so well. The landscape blends so well into the close-up world. And the only thing it might be missing is um, the wonderful colors and sharpness of an EMB. But... 
this looks okay, I think. I think it looks a lot better than vanilla Skyrim. And um, I think they really did a great job with making Skyrim a lot more colorful uh, than the original was. Because, as you might have uh, remembered, the original vanilla Skyrim is just, in my opinion, too dead. The game feels... The game feels and looks a lot more dead than um, Oblivion actually does. Oblivion was a lot greener, a lot more things happened, but Skyrim for me always was a little bit more um, dead in all ways. But as you can see here, it's a lot more colorful, like I said. And uh, as you can see also, the distant uh, view is very well done. You can see the uh, you can see that uh, Jarl has a wide run all the way up there, and uh, you have. A very nice overview of everything you can see everything but it really looks a lot more natural than my 400 plus mods edition with Dindalot I saw a little bit of pop-up there but um, it's not uh, really that much of a problem if you wouldn't install Dindalot it would be a lot a lot worse looking but um, yeah for now it looks great by the way it looks like they shortened your road to wide run but I'm not really sure if that's uh, that's the case. I mean, looks like the road to white run is a little bit um, more closer, but I think that's just my imagination. But anyway, um, I hope it gave you guys a little bit of a good impression on the enhanced edition of Skyrim. Uh, maybe I can go into um, into white run itself to see any loading times because those that's a really big difference. It's um, it's really running well um, at the moment. It's very smooth. Way smoother than my 400 plus mods edition, but of course that's logical because the 400 plus mods are not made by Bethesda itself. It are it, uh, those are made by third party um, people. So uh, yeah, third party. I actually mean just modders, hobbyists. And let's see if we can enter White Run. Else this clip is gonna be too long. And um, yeah, let's see if we can enter the city. I'm playing with a controller, by the way, so that's why you see the B and A buttons for the Xbox, uh, Xbox controller. Um, let's see, uh, Riverwood calls the Earl's Aid. Uh, whoops. Uh, by the way, I'm playing Orc in this uh, original. Uh, and let's see how it runs into White Run. And to be honest, I've not entered White Run so far in this enhanced edition. As you can see here, White Run discovered. And. Um, yeah, the vanilla version here, this enhanced vanilla version, looks nice. I have to say, I'm more impressed with my 400 plus mods edition. But um, yeah, it, it looks like a really natural EMB, you know, if I if I can say it like that. It looks like it's really natural, um, a natural feeling, and that's of course very good because how closer you are to the natural feeling and looks of the game, how better it is. And this enhanced edition definitely does that. Everything is really. Um, Really smooth loading times are really fast as you can see here if I open uh, the entrance to your Vasker I'm pretty much immediately teleported here if I go out. The one thing that actually I noticed when I entered here and all the way around is that the lightning is not as good as in my edition. The enhanced lights and effects and realistic lightning overall they definitely make, um, make a far better uh, impression but um, yeah, that's fine, of course, it's vanilla, they can't really do anything about it. Uh, I'm not real sure if I told it already, but I think the water looks nice. Not as good as Realistic Water 2 with all the mods. But um, it still looks looks nice. I think also better than the vanilla edition. But um, yeah, really nice. Again, do I need to show you guys? Yeah, I can show you the settings to see a little bit what you can play with on the display. You have the brightness and the fade uh, bars, but you also had that with... Um, the original Skyrim of course but as you can see here we have a depth of field slider for the people who don't really like depth of field because I know a lot of you guys don't like it and you turn it off on the EMB menu uh, in game once you have installed an EMB but all right I think uh, I showed you guys a little uh, the most of what I wanted to show you and again I'm going to make a comparison video with the in-game uh, footage of the enhanced edition with my 400 plus Mods edition. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the video comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you at the next video.
拜拜。